that decent bullfrog right here. If I can catch it. It's actually a female. Oh, oh there he went. She. What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to Reps Reels. Now, tonight I've got a doozy for you. I was out here fishing tonight and uh, wasn't having any luck, but I found some frogs. I actually caught a frog on a trick worm. Don't need no gig. So I decided I was going to go get the frog gig and have one last frog gig and adventure before the fall came, and it was just kind of too cold to go out and gig for them. Without further ado, stub on in. Next frog right here looks like a female. Oh dang. Got yeah, us another frog right here. See if I can get a good angle on him. Oh dang it. Oh, he's still there, he's still there. Dang, oh dang gum. Ah. I struck down and he jumped at the same time. Another frog. Got him. Legs. Got another frog. Right here, doubt I'll be able to get this one. Oh, yep, he's gone. There you go. Frog up here. It's already facing away from me, so. Doubt this one's gonna end up on the end of this gig. Anything's possible. Ooh, got him in the leg. Not an ideal shot. Sorry, buddy. Turn off game. That is gonna be the biggest bullfrog yet. Oh, dang it. Oh, he's getting away. Where's he going? Where's he going? Where's he going? Crap, crap, crap. Back here. Got a frog right up here. Dang it. I'm just gonna start chunking this thing at him. I obviously can't get close enough to be accurate, so see what happens, I guess. An extremely impossible catch right here. Gonna see if I can make it possible. Frog in the water. Get her. Oh, no way. Perfect through the head. Woo, woo. Now that we've got these frogs caught, we're gonna get down to cleaning them. To clean them, first thing I'm gonna need some game scissors, good catfish skinners, and a sharp knife. First thing I'm gonna do is cut a slit right behind the head in between the backbone. Grab him by the lip, get the catfish skinners, Stick them in the slit and pull all the skin down. This should pull all the skin from behind the head down. Sometimes you gotta re-grip, get a better grip because they're slippery. Then pull all the way down to the feet. Be careful around the feet. Make sure you get all the skin off because that can be hard to get skin off of the feet sometimes. Once you've done that, you're gonna cut right behind the head at the backbone with your game scissors and cut that tissue right beside the backbone off be careful not to pop the gut too terrible and bad. Grab at the base of the backbone, the base of the frog, and pull them apart to pull out tendons. Now you got frog okay, legs. We're going to do some frog legs. Uh, we have to call it probably the last mess of frog legs that we're going to get through the year. It's uh, October 12th, uh, 2021. 
So once again, we're gonna start with full fat buttermilk. I'll just use the rest of what we got there. And we're gonna, it's not just a, a binder. I use it as a soak, kind of as a marinade. But we'll just take all of these frogs and we'll mix them right in there. Make sure we get them all covered real good. Leave them sit. Alright. Alright, we're gonna make our dredge for our frog legs. So we're gonna sift about I don't know, a cup and a half of flour somewhere in that neighborhood for the amount of frog legs that we've got. Um, when I cook certain things, you see the video we did on cooking squirrel, I didn't use a lot of seasoning, I didn't put a lot of flavor in my dredge. The reason is, is because a lot of times with squirrel, I'll do uh, like a chicken wing. I'll do like a chicken wing. So I'll make a sauce and roll it in there once it's fried. Um, that's one of my dad's favorite things is, is uh, squirrel wings, what he calls them. With frog legs, I season them a little more like I would fish. And the reason is because I don't typically put anything on the frog legs. So I'm gonna start, and, and and it just depends on what you're what you're gonna do. I use a, a lemon pepper seasoning. Tony's just happened to be what they sell at Sam's, and we buy it in bulk. Um, so a little bit of lemon pepper. Um, I don't get crazy with it, but just you know, just enough to give them probably a little bit of flavor. And then Tony Shasher's whatever you know i like a cajun flavor on my on my seafood um, and i don't but i don't go crazy with it mainly because we've got kids in the house and if it's too spicy it won't get it so that's our that's our dredge for our uh, frog legs okay so if we're gonna have frog legs or fish, we gotta have sweet potato fries because this is Jerger. Um, sweet potato fries are gonna be a little more mushy. Typically they're not as crunchy as a, say a russet potato, but we do sweet potatoes in Georgia. Now we're gonna dredge these frog legs up and get them ready to go. We're just gonna take them and run them through here one time and lay them to the side. I don't wanna get a real thick batter on them just yet. Because we're gonna double batter them. And the double biter is another reason I don't get too terribly crazy with my uh, seasoning in my flour because you're going to get double the dose by the time it's all said and done. I use, uh, and I do use self-rising flour. It's just easier.
So the most important thing is a high smoke point oil. I use peanut oil because we don't have a, a lot of uh, issue in our household with peanut allergy, but we use peanut oil because the smoke point's so high. That oil right there is just over 400 degrees. You see it's not smoking yet, but it gives me hot enough to take my, my frog legs or my fish or my squirrel with a good batter on it and shock that batter as it goes in. Alright, I like to let as much grease drip off the get back into the pot as I can because we re re reuse our oil. But then I, I don't like just for crispiness sake, I don't like using I've seen people use paper bags, I've seen people use paper towels. I prefer not to use those. And the reason I, I like to use a jerky rack over a cookie sheet. The reason is is the grease gets away from whatever we fried. But we're looking for floating frog legs and we're looking for the color on the batter that we want. Once we've achieved that, it doesn't take these frogs very long to cook at all. 